You've built your pipe network. Uh, now it's time to make sure that it behaves as you want. One way of looking at this is you can treat each hole as being like a point detector. And if we do that, um, one good tool to use that is this sampling point sensitivity um, tab. So let's go there. And this lists all our holes in our two pipes. Um, here we can see for the given smoke threshold, uh, the given VN5420 limit um, of 10 uh, meter per second obscuration, just how we're doing. And you can see we're doing very well on this network against that. What we might want to do is to actually create, say, a Class B system. So let's just try that. And do a Class B system. Again, we're doing quite well. But if we wanted to go to Class A, we'd actually see that most of our holes are no longer going to be compliant with Class A. Now you'll notice that Aspire actually does some work for us and that it calculates what um, alarm threshold we wouldn't actually need to have to achieve Class A. In this case it's 0.117. But you know it's also that there's a safety factor now that applies within, you can apply within the spire. And what that does is it allows a, a bit of a safety margin in case the system that's implemented just differs ever so slightly from what's been designed. Um, this could be different size holes, burrs on holes, those sort of things could actually throw your system out. So you don't want to design a system that's right on the edge. You want to allow a safety margin. So if we allow a safety margin at 25%, we can hit apply. And I'll just check with us if we want to do this. And we say yes, you'll see that now our alarm threshold's been applied up there. And that brings all our points within class A um, level, which means our system is now compliant to a class A system.